Praise the Lord. Yes. Yes. Good Amen. morning, everybody. Or noon. It's noon here. Noon 12, 19. That is, that is prophetic. You'll see in a few minutes why 12, 19 is very prophetic. So, directly. But, uh, Tina, let's begin with a prayer, girl. Okay. Cause, okay, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father Yahweh, Lord Yeshua HaMashiach and HaKadosh, Lord, we come before your throne of grace and we give you all the honor and glory and praise and we bless your holy name. Raha Kadesh, I pray and ask that you fill Barbara and I up. Yes, and please Father. bless us with your words of truth to speak today. May it be your words and your words only. May it be yes. nothing of ourselves, nothing of our thoughts, nothing of our flesh. May it be your absolute truth that the people mm. hear. And may their hearts be opened up to hear and receive this message that you are sending out. So yes, that they Father. know who they are in you, Lord Yeshua HaMashiach. Because we need to know who, mm. you, who we are in you to stand in these last days. Because that is what you are laying on Barbara and I's hearts. And everyone else's is where we're at. That we need to know who we are in you to stand. That yes. we are covered by the blood of the Lamb. Yes. That we give you yes. all the honor and glory and praise for that. We thank you for choosing us. We thank you for honoring us. You, and we honor you with this message, Lord. Yes, Father. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Yes, and I, I plead the blood over this video because yes, yes. I, I yes. know within my spirit yes, you are telling us this is the time that we need to wake up for things have been let loose here upon this earth and that we need to be in prayer and standing on you your words and putting ourselves in your covering that you will protect us throughout all of this in the name of yeshua hamashiach amen amen yes we, we are so excited today <coughs> The Lord has just been revealing and revealing to us. And we're still laying the foundations for um, Know Your Enemy, which is a, a yes. major study the Lord has laid on our hearts to do. And and um, Barbara's already given you a video on Black Ops, and, and today we're going to talk about yes. warriors and, and um, God of Heaven's armies. Um, Amen. So, um, we're, people need to understand who God is to, to understand who mm -hmm. we are. So... Um, I'm going to lead it yeah. off with a warrior. Um, I looked that up, and it, it's 5431 in the Strong Concordance in Hebrew. It's yes. a one. It's a primary root to be miry, used only as a denomination from 5430 to shoe. A soldier shot a warrior. Mm -hmm. so, so how do we shot ourselves? We put on the armor of God in Ephesians 6. Yes. Okay, so mire is swampy ground, yielding earth, deep mud or slush. So see, we're in the mire right now. Amen, we are. We, we are, we're in the mire. And how do we get out of that mire? We put our armor on. Yes, Lord. And, and what and, keeps us above the uh, sinking in is, uh, yes. I mean, the Lord is leading me over here. Okay, when you said, uh, whoa, too far. Um, put on the whole armor of God. Let me, yes. one right here. Real because you because you know one thing we need to tell you people if this is spiritual yes. you need to understand that we are in a spiritual battle this is not physical it is in a spiritual realm that things are happening and it is in the spiritual realm we're going home to yes amen okay, i mean okay. okay i'm going to read through the armor of god real quick yep and so wherefore Take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil days, in the evil days, and, and having things. done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girded with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, and the feet thing, the feet thing she just talked about, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of uh, peace. peace amen and above all take the shield of faith wherewith you can be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the sword of god and praying always with all prayers in supplication in the spirit and watching therefore with all 
preparation and supplements for all saints. So we see that our feet has to be shod with the gospel of peace or yes, we're going to get bogged down in that mari clay. That's the only thing that keeps it. We can walk on top of that mari clay. Think about it. If you walk out there without your shoes being shod in the gospel, you're going to be just sucked down. Yes, you are. That's you know, what I it does. pray that everyone out there listening is putting on their armor of God. Because the Lord showed me a long time ago, you know, you're actually putting on Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about you, but I've told this to Barb months ago, yes. a long time ago. You know, as I put my armor on, I can feel it being put on piece by piece yes. as I speak it. And yes. I mean, I can physically feel it being put on my yes. body. And, and know that I am protected Hallelujah. all day long, and all the, yes. you know, because I put it on again at night. So it's on in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, and some all the time at night. I'm at least twice a day for sure yes. putting my armor on. And, to be and protected. It, let me say this: people that are having really disturbing dreams, you know, sexually. Uh, having a battle with that because, you know, when you're in your sleep, you're really not in full control of what you're thinking. Right. And, and Satan so can sneak, sneak in there and give you dreams that's not really appropriate. I yep. mean, we've all had dr that kind of dreams. I mean, my gosh, I have. Yeah. I all mean, I, I, I don't know of anyone that's a human being I mean, maybe there there's some people out there stronger than me, but I've had those kind of dreams. And then I'd get up in the morning and go, why did I dream such a dream like that? Why, why, why? You know, I pray and, and, and beat myself up about it. Well, you know what? We, I have learned that we have to specifically put on our armor before we go to bed. Amen. Now, at times, things do sneak through. You know, Satan's not idle. He's going to be trying to, to you know, to disturb you. That, that's yep. why these dreams come, because he knows that you are of God, and he knows that you're fighting to... Oh, that's a very keep, good point right there. He, he, the yes. Lord really revealed this to me yesterday yes. in a conversation Barbara and I were having. You know what? Satan knows who you are in God. Yes. You need to know that. He knows that you are chosen, that you are a chosen saint of God, that you are a son of yes. God, that you are you belong to Yeshua HaMashiach. He knows, and you need to know that. Yes. Okay, go ahead, Barb. So, before you go to bed at night, this is what I've learned. And I still sometimes... I'll have a dream and I'll go, all right, Lord, I put on my armor last night. What's going yeah, on? And then, then he'll say, it's all right, Barbara. I'm trying to sh uh, 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 this happen because you need to witness to people that even sometimes Satan will sneak in. But we have to really anoint ourselves and put that armor on. And, and then sometimes I... When I've had that kind of dream, it will show me of something. I'll turn on the news, and it has something to do with the news. Yeah. Something's went on with the news, and I went, oh, oh, was that a warning? You know? You know, I'm still at flash. I'm still at walking, trying to to please my, my Savior and trying to do exactly what He wants me to do when He wants me to do it. So, you know, yes, me, yes, we, we have to understand know. that he, that we are his children and we be under his protection. And the most vulnerable time is at night when we're asleep. And that's when Satan will try to attack us more yes. than any other time because when we are awake, we can resist those thoughts. We can go, mm, nah, get out of here. Yeah. We can take those thoughts captive and make them go away. Um, the, so. the Lord is leading me to um, give a simplistic prayer of, of how I put my armor on. And, and it's just yes, guidelines. that would be good. Um, you know, so let's just do that real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, Yahweh, yes, Lord Father. Yeshua, Hamashi, and Rahak Yes. Lord, I place the belt of truth around my waist as you are my truth. Yes. Lord, upon the breastplate of righteousness yes. as you are my righteousness. Lord, I fit my feet with the readiness from the gospel yes. of peace as yes. you are my readiness. 
Lord, I take up the shield of faith to thwart yes. off all enemy darts, as you are my faith. Lord, upon the helmet of salvation, as you are my salvation. Yes. And Lord, I take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And I yes. pray for a head to yes. around me as I walk yes. with you today, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Yeshua yes. HaMashiach. In your name, yes. amen. That's it. It's a simplistic prayer. It's mm-hmm. speaking the words because the Word of God has to be spoken. And so, you know, I pray that you will follow that as a guideline yes. and, and the Lord will lead you with your words, yes. um, with your personal relationship that you have. But, you know, it's Amen. just a simplistic prayer. And it yes. takes, what, 30 seconds, people, to, to put that armor on and be protected for the day and night. Yes. Amen. So, Amen. Amen. And, and, it, okay. and if, you, if you are having problems, people, this is what God led me strongly to do because I know in the spirit realm, that there has to be some of you out there that's having serious problems or he wouldn't have brought it up and yep. he's trying to help you okay yep it's, yep it is okay so 5430 in the hebrew is sahon from 5431 which is sawan um perhaps a military boot as a protection mm. from mud and see that's what barb just read to you it, yes the lord is just confirming all this okay so then you know we've been looking up um god of armies and, and um in the complete jewish bible it specifically says god of armies in the King James Version, however, it says God of hosts. Um, and I know a lot of people read King James, so the Lord will, you know, wants you yes. to know that host in Hebrew, which is 6635, means to stop off. And it means a mass of persons, especially organized for war, an army. Praise the a Lord. Campaign. Yes. yes. A point, and now this is interesting too, Barb, it also means a point in time. Yes. Okay. Um, in the middle of all this description of army, battle, company, service, soldiers waiting upon, appointed time, the Lord had me underline that. It appointed also means time. that. Because it is an appointed time when we're going to go to battle. Yes, It's already it is. been set. Yes. Okay. And then 6633, the uh, primary now? root, which is the primary root of the word to Shabbat, means to mass, an army or servants, and who are we? We are the servants of our Lord and Savior. Okay, where are you reading from? I'm reading from the Strong's Concordance. Okay, Those are definitions. okay. If people um, was it, is the wondering. The word of what host means, so that people know and mm-hmm. confirm that it means the same word as hey. army. Army, okay? army, and that's, that's who he's gathering? Yes, that's who he's gathering. That's who we are. Yes. Okay. Then he led me to look up the word host in the concordance and start on the scriptures there. So um, the first one, of course, is in Bereshit Genesis 2.1. And in the Jewish Bible, it just says, it says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, along with everything in them. Hmm. In the King James Version, however, they added, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of, of them. them. See, wow. God created yes, all sir. of us, the angels, the armies, everything. All the hosts. All. So all he's, the he's host. confirming that we were all created for him as his host. Okay. I say, and my deal says to go to uh, Psalms 33. So go ahead and I'm going to look up and see what it says. Okay, go see what Psalms 33 says, Bob. That'd be great. Okay, so then it says... Um, um, Genesis 32, Jacob 32, 1, 2. Okay, Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. When Jacob saw them, he said, this is God's camp. And he called that place Mahaniim, two camps. In the King James Version, it says, and Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, this is God's host. And he called the name of that place Mahaniim. Mm-hmm. What, what what the Lord is showing and proving is not only are we going to be fighting, but the angels are going to be fighting with us. Amen. We, we have we have proof of that because we have Michael and Gabriel mentioned in the Word of God. Yes. So the Lord said, "Well, first let me interject this. I want to say something in in the in the Hebrew E L, which is L, and Yah, which is names of God. Mm-hmm. Those two words in Hebrew mean of God." So yes. I, I want to say to you, when you look up the name Isaiah, it's Yeshua. When you look up Jeremiah, it's Yermia. And it starts, it, it's, L. let me intercede this too, because there's always an argument whether it's Yeshua or Yahshua. That's right. And it's yes. really Yah. Yes, it is. Yahshua Y-A-H, God. because that's the beginning of God's name. Amen. Okay, so yes, okay. we know that those, well, where those come from. So when you look up Michael, 
His name is pronounced Mikael. And so I looked it up in the Hebrew. It means, um, it's number 4317. It means from 4310. And the preferred derivative from 3588 and 410. And 410 is L. Who is like God? That's what Mikael's name means. He is the name of, it is the name of an archangel, okay? So then I looked up archangel in the Greek, because, mm. you know, that's what they called him in, um, in Luke, and it says, uh, I mean in Jude, excuse me, 743, um, a chief angel. So mm -hmm. Mikael, Michael, is a chief angel, an archangel. And then the Lord led me to read Daniel 10. Did you get Psalm 33, Barb? Yes. I mean, it is okay. awesome. Read it. Go ahead. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Praise God. And then you go over here to Hebrews 11 in the New Testament, and 3, through faith we understand that the worlds were formed what? by the word of God, God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which were not appear, do, which do n appear. And let me read that again. I got all tongue-tied. Through faith we understand that the worlds, 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 World. Yes, world. Mm. I know, Barb. Go ahead. Were formed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So, they weren't made, the earth and stuff weren't made out of earth and stuff. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right. So, let's go to Daniel 4, 10, Daniel chapter 10, verse 4. Okay. And um, um, it says, now this this was a great revelation the Lord gave me this morning as I was getting ready for this today because, you know, we're laying the foundations of great things the Lord is showing us. And so mm -hmm. we'll start with this. On the 24th day of the first month, I was on the bank of the great river, the Tigris. When I looked up and there before me was a man dressed in linen, wearing a belt made of fine you found gold. His body was like barrel, his face looked like lightning, and his eyes like fiery torches. His arms and feet were the color of burnished bronze, and when he spoke it sounded like the roar of a crowd. Only I, Daniel, saw the vision. The men who were with me did not see the vision, however, and a great trembling fell over them, so they rushed to hide themselves. Well, I want to interject something. I think it's important. At seven years old, when Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Hamashiach, stood on my left hand side and his robe fell across my left, my elbow, this is what he looked like. And when I, last year when I tried to take my own life and I went down to hell, people don't believe in hell, but there he is one. And when he rose me up and put me in that room with him standing there, that's why I recognized him. Because that's what he looked like then, also. So, okay, so, so we're, we're confirming that this is Yeshua HaMashiach that's speaking yes. to Daniel. Jesus. So then, yes, Jesus Christ. And then it says, Thus I was left alone, and when I saw this great vision, there was no strength left in me. My face, only pleasant looking, became disfigured, and I had no strength. I heard his voice speaking, and when I heard him speaking, I fell down in a faint with my face to the ground. Then a hand touched me and raised me, tottering me to my hands and knees. He said to me, Daniel, you are greatly loved. Now pay attention to the words I am saying to you and stand upright, for it is to you that I have been sent now. After this, he had, after he had said this to me, I stood up trembling. Now I want to stop right there, and we're going to go to Revelation. Because Revelation is also going to confirm this. You know, Barb's vision, and in Revelation 1. So let's go to Revelation 1 mm -hmm. and read what John the Revelator saw, okay? In 1, excuse me, 12, mm -hmm. it says, I turned around to see who was speaking to me, and when I had turned, I saw seven gold menorahs, and among the menorahs were someone like the Son of Man, wearing a robe down to his feet and a gold band around his chest. His head and hair were as white as snow white wool, his eyes like a fiery flame, his feet like burnished brass refined in a furnace, and his voice like the sound of rushing waters. 
In his right hand he held seven stars. Out of his mouth went a sharp double-edged sword, and his face was like the sun, shining in full strength. Yes. When I saw him, I fell down at his feet like a dead man, just as Daniel did, John fell. Mm -hmm. He placed his right hand upon me and said, don't be afraid. I am the first and the last, the living one. I was dead, but look, I am alive forever and ever, hallelujah. And I Please. hold the keys to death and Sheol. So write down what you see, both what is now and what will happen afterwards. Here is the secret meaning of the seven stars you saw on my right hand and of the seven gold menorahs. The seven stars are the angels of the seven messianic communities, and the seven menorahs are the seven messianic communities. So we have a confirmation of John mm -hmm. seeing Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, also. Yes. Because this is what the Lord showed us today. And you know, He okay. never changes. He never... I want you he to understand, this is important. He, in Daniel, He appeared the same to John the Revelator, and he was a, he looked exactly the same when he appeared to me twice. Amen. Amen. He, so he does he never change. change. Remember, he's a God that never changes. Okay. So then we're going to read here. And we'll start with 12. 10 verse, back in Daniel, um, chapter 10, verse 12. And he said to me, don't be afraid, Daniel, because since the first day that you determined to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words have been heard. And I have come because of what you said. Now, this is the part, people. Mm -hmm. Verse 13, the prince of the kingdom of Persia prevented me from coming for 21 days. So he must and have Michael, been praying strongly. Yes. So, But Michael, one of the chief princes, came to assist me so that I was no longer needed there with the kings of Persia. So people, you know, for a long time when I read this, I just assumed that um, it, it was Michael. For some reason, I didn't get that it yeah. was actually Lord Yeshua yeah. HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and, re and remember, remember that, that God just revealed this to me a while ago. Why was he with the prince of Persia at that time and, and with the kings of Persia? Because Greece was about to come in and take over. Yep. Literally. And it says that right at the, when we get to the end of this, it says that the Prince of Greece will come. So, okay. So he, here was here was our Lord and Savior fighting, you mm -hmm. know, because he is, the, he is the general, the four-star general of, mm -hmm. God, God, of God's army. Excuse me, Lord God. He, so he's the four-star general. And then, and then, so then it's... Oh, wow, well, wait a minute. I just got another revelation. Because I was thinking, why would he be with the... Why would he be with these kings of Persia? Who was it that helped build back the temple? Who gave the orders Persia. to rebuild Jerusalem and the temple? It was Persia. Yeah, was Persia prophecy. gave permission for them to go back. Ezra Nehemiah. That's why Jesus, Yeshua, was standing and fighting with the Prince of Persia because the Prince of Persia honored, honored God's word and did it. In obedience. In obedience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So there Thank you, you have this. We have we have Yeshua Hamashiach intervening for us. Okay, but but um, then it says, but Michael, one of the chief princes, came to assist me, so that I was no longer needed there with the kings of Persia. So I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the Aharit Haimim, for there is which is last days. The la there latter is still days. Another vision which will relate to those days. After he said these things to me, I looked down at the ground and couldn't speak. Then someone who looked like a human being touched my lips, after which I could open my mouth and speak. I said to the one standing in front of me, My Lord, it is, it, it is, it is because of this vision that I am seized with such anguish I don't have any strength. For how can this servant of my Lord speak with my Lord when my strength and breath have failed me? Then again, someone who looked human touched me and revived me, and he said, You man so greatly loved, don't be afraid. Shalom, peace to you, and be strong. Yes, truly strong. His speaking to me strengthened me, and I said, My Lord, keep speaking because you've given me strength. And Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Then he said, Do you know why I came to you? Although now I must return to fight. Mm -hmm. You see this word, people? 
to fight the yes. prince of Persia. And when I leave, the prince of Greece will come. Nevertheless, I will tell you what is written in the book of truth. There was no, there was no one standing with me against them except Michael, your prince. It's very under, it's very Remember that uh, Michael is a prince of Israel. Yes. This is important. He's the one the that stands. Prince, oh. The guardian prince of Israel. Mm -hmm. um, it's important because the Lord is confirming to you that he is fighting for us. Not only is he preparing a place for us, he's fighting for us. Yes. Uh, I, this is confirmation in his word in the Old Testament. Yes. Speaking with Daniel that he's fighting for us. Amen. So, so then, okay, oh, Lord God, so then... The Lord you. said, you are showing us and the people who you are and who we are in you. That he is a God, not just a God of justice and love and mercy and forgiveness. He is a God of war. Yes, He's he is. defending his kingdom. Look back at all the kingdoms. Who defends them? Yes. The king. Who defended the king? Yes, Lord God. Who defended the kingdom of Israel? David. Yes. Who is the example of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ? David. David. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So then he led me to. Well, let's go on. I, I got to read the uh, verse 20. I want you to understand. Then said he, Knowest thou, were, wherefore I come unto thee, and now will I return to fight with the, prin with the prince of Persia when I am gone forth. Lo, the prince of Greece shall come. That was at that point that. He he went and fought and held out for Persia because they had to help build the second temple. The second temple yeah. had to be there because Jesus was going to be born of a virgin. But Greece, after that was accomplished, then Greece come in and took them over again. Over period. Yep. Yeah. Each kingdom, each kingdom that rises and falls. Yes. Okay. So then the Lord re led me to Daniel twelve one. Okay, we're going to read 12.1, and then we're going to show you just how awesome the Lord, how he moves so quickly through us. Okay, yes. so Daniel 12.1 says, When that time comes, Michael the great prince, who champions your people, will stand up. And there will be a time of distress, unparalleled between the time they became a nation and that moment. At that time, your people will be delivered. Everyone whose name is found written in the book. And as I was reading that, before I called Barb about this, Actually, I think you called me. Uh, anyway, I, as I, yeah, you called. Okay, so as I was reading this, the Lord said, when it says, there will be a time of distress unparalleled between the time they became a nation yes. and that moment. Do you know the Holocaust happened and then Israel became a nation in 1948? Yes. yes. I want you to hear this, people. Do you hear that the distress that is coming upon Israel is going to be yes. unparalleled to that time of the Holocaust? Are you listening? To what God is getting ready to do, to bring yes. people back to him, to bring yes. all of us down to our knees. Oh my gosh, Lord God, this is what he's getting ready to do. And it says it in his word. Okay, so in the meantime, Barb got a message from the daughter of Zion 11 on YouTube, and I'm going to let Barb go from there. Uh, did you write it down? I... Zechariah 12, 1 through 3. Yes. Uh, well, I wanted you to say about the body, too, you know, th this is confirmed. Well, first of all, here's what you need to hear. Okay, so, um, yeah, I was I, in I had, Daniel, uh, Daniel 12, I was in Revelation 12, which we're going to read out of, and she's given us Zechariah 12. Yes. Zechariah, Daniel, and Revelation are all prophets of the last days. Yeah, go to that and read that, because... Thank you so much, my sister, for giving me that and writing this to me, yes. uh, because this, you are part of the body. You are part of me and Tina, and there are others out there, because we are a body, a group of, that's being yes. called out. We're not only watchmen on the wall, but we are warriors that is in his army, that elect that black ops, if you want to call them, that special forces that's being called out to do a special, a special, what can I say? We're going to go in and do a special um, operation. operation. Yes. Yes. And we're being called out and being readied now. So, sis, you're part of us. 
Yes, he is. I mean, the, and the Lord is using all of us, and, and we give glory to the Lord for this. So yes, amen. In Zechariah, verse 12, 1 through 3, it says, A prophecy, the word of Adonai concerning Israel. Here is the message from Adonai who stretched out the heavens, and we just confirmed that in Genesis and Psalms 33. Mm -hmm. It's Genesis um, 1. Okay. Who stretched out the heavens, laid the foundation of the earth, and formed the spirit inside the human beings. And actually, that was Genesis 2-1. Um, I will make Jerusalem a cup that will stagger the surrounding peoples. Even Judah will be caught up in the siege against Jerusalem. When that day comes, I will make Jerusalem a heavy stone for all the peoples. All who try to lift it will hurt themselves. All the earth's nations will be massed against her. So mm -hmm. this is saying she's getting ready to be surrounded. Yes. She's getting ready to be totally surrounded and taken. And, and like, she, like our sisters said, on, on her uh, um, Barb, I got someone at the door, so go ahead and speak. I'll be right back. Okay. Like she said, when I got her a, a message on my video, uh, she uh, texted down below and 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 gave me this message, and she said she had a dream or uh, that or a feeling. I think it was a dream. I'm sorry, sis. Um, let me go over here and, uh, uh yes, that, that, that you, you, you have a feeling that something's going to happen over there to Israel soon, soon. I'm telling you, you're right. It is, because, you know, yeah, you're right. he's right, and I mean, because the Lord gave me a few days ago, Isaiah 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. And, and, and it uh, goes right along with our sister on YouTube, Zion yeah. 11. Goes yeah, right amen. along with everything that you've been saying to me, sis. So stand yeah. firm. Stand firm. Okay, go ahead. Amen. Amen. Okay, so then we, we had that. So, so then it was amazing because Barb said, okay. Uh, we had just talked about Daniel 12, which talks about this time of distress. Mm -hmm. And then I told her that I was in Revelation 12, because I was reading about Michael in Revelation 12. And then she said, oh, and it's Zechariah 12, too. So when Barb looked up 12, 12, 12, go ahead, Barb. Okay. <clears throat> because God, all of a sudden when she was saying that, it was like verse 12, verse 12, I mean chapter 12, chapter 12. 12, chapter 12, yep. and I said, they were all chapters do you 12. understand yep. what you're saying? 12, 12, 12. Yep. So God moved upon me to go back, and what happened last year on 12, 12, 12? Well, the yep. first thing I come across, I mean, it's on this report from Fox News, okay? Uh, first thing, an unpleasant Christmas surprise from North Korea last night. The direct directorship successfully fired a long rocket uh, range rocket. North Korea Koreans danced in the streets of P Y O N G Y A N G. Whatever. I'm gonna try. I know. Me neither. <laughs> but anyway, you got it. The rocket apparently delivered something into orbit. The That's North clear. Koreans say says it's a satellite. God only knows what it really was. That's right. The White House called it a highly provocative act that threatens the region's security. Well, not only that region, but us too. Because I told you here the on the last video that I when I wrote that novel, I had the manuscript, Dark Horse Coming, that Korea would be the one that will nuke us. So there you go. We ha that she has a rocket that's capable wow. of delivering a newt all the way to to the west coast. Or maybe father. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's long enough that they can program it to even go across the United States and hit New York. Who knows how how advanced they are? Because they're not going to let us know. And no. then we go in and have a defense secretary, uh, Leon Petty, P-A-N-E-T-T-A. -T -T -A. 
is Pet, in Pet Pet, 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 Pet or something I can't yeah. remember now. Is in uh, K A B U L. Cabal. Cabal on a surprise trip to meet with the top um, commanders and Afghani president. And I can't speak his name either. Anyway, uh, H A M I D, and his last name is K A R Z A I. I mean something. I don't know. Okay. And then the next thing that happened Iran said it now has the ability to manufacture an avic dome similar to the one that cable. Uh, capability last year. Meantime, Iran has indicated 18 uh, in, inducted 18 American officer for criminal uh, for crimes against Iran. They had captured them. They were held. No further details. This as the IAEA is scheduled to hold talks this week in Iran's it's apparent apparently hopes to get access to the uh, P A R C H I N nuke site. Then we go on with the next article. The United States is recognizing a, a Caesarian opt optional group as the sole legal representative of the Syrian people and I remember that one. Yep. This is an international meeting meeting on Syria is called and on a, a Assad to step down and warning him against using chemical weapons. I remember that very plainly yep. because the president said yeah. he yep. said that if you use them I mean if you move them around and you start to use them we're going to have to do something about it. Then President Obama pushes his plan on the so-called physical cliff today yeah. in a noon, noon phone call with the uh, BIPART bipartisan. bipartisan group of minorities and cum, uh, community leaders. Well, we know that didn't pan out because uh, really we did go over the physical cliff, but then they straightened it out. Yep. A ma the next one, unique, when I, I, I had forgot about what day it was, a masked gunman opened fire on Christmas shooters at a mall in the suburb Portland, Oregon, killing two before turning the gun on himself. A horrific picture and video. I mean, but I'm not going to put that up. Okay, now, the next event. A huge explosion in West Virginia from a gas line ruptured. Four homes destroyed. And then the next one is P-E-D-R-O. Last name is H-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z. Oh, yeah, Pedro. Yeah. Yeah, is scheduled to be in court today. His charges with killing six-year-old E-T-A-N. And a child's name, uh, last name was P A T Z, yeah. back in 1979. He is. I was the little Jewish boy that disappeared. Yeah. Okay, and he is expected to plead guilty. Now, uh, and, um, it also says the top Vatican astronomer says not to worry about the world ending on December the 22nd. I remember that one too. Yeah. And the next one is, remember that the date some say the Mayan predict for the world to end. Well, of course, we know the world did not end. And no. then they had a little deal about Lindsay Lohan. Of course, that girl has to get into everything. And she had a hearing in Los Angeles, and she will be in court uh, to face, uh, you know, going to jail for violating her probation. That was okay. what, everything that happened, 12, 12, 12. So, so, so the daughter of Zion 11, YouTube, by giving us Zechariah 12, is confirming a, a spiritual awakening with this, because what did the Lord show you when you were reading those, the two portals? Okay, when I was reading that news article, the Lord showed me on 
12, 12, 12, there was two portals opening. One from heaven, from God, and one from Satan and his dark kingdom. Yep. That he released, I'm going to take Satan's first, that he released into the atmosphere upon the earth evil forces that are congregating I I'm telling you Zion 11 this goes along with it yep to begin World War 3 over in the Middle East bringing Israel into the state of of such calamity yes. but the World War 3 is already beginning it's been beginning for a long time that's the reason why while, each, yeah. yeah but it's Lord beginning God, yeah. to really multiply and other things by like Obama really insisting on this gun thing taking all the guns away from the Americans disarming America and also getting mad at Fox News and wanting to take away the freedom of speech that anyone that gets up you know, like banding Fox News uh, because they speak against the things that the presidents do. And one day probably coming after me because I do speak a lot of stuff against President Obama. He will try to shut everyone's mouth up and do away with the First Amendment of freedom of speech. Okay, that was Satan's. Cindy. Because the enemy is because you got to understand the enemy is always trying to come up against God. Oh always. yes, but on the second hand, exactly. or I should say first hand. Yeah, first hand. God opened Hallelujah. a portable of a blessings upon His people and understanding, yes. and I opened up. It seems like all of a sudden we Zion Eleven of YouTube. Tina, myself, and there's others, I see it in their videos, are beginning to see more and more into more. the spiritual realm of what's going yeah. to be happening and how we need to prepare ourselves yeah. for this thing that's coming, you know. God never leaves us in the predicament of just letting it come upon us unaware. He always, always brings His people out to stand yeah. for him and speak the truth and speak the words before this happens. So the yeah. body, the body, you remember the edification of the body? body so the body can be prepared. Amen. 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 Thank you, and, Lord. And those Thank two you. things happen on the 12th, the 12th, the 12th, you know, December okay, the 12th. So, so we have the 12, 12, 12. Yes. You know, it's yes. amazing how God will line up everything yes. that you're working on. Yes. Confirm it in his word. So. It's amazing. Okay. okay, so here we go. We're going to dig into Jude 8 through 10 next. Okay, whoops. Because this is really important. Because this is talking about the wisdom that we need to have in these days, people. Yes, we need okay. it strongly. Yes. Things okay, that so have Jude been let loose. It says, likewise, these people with their vision defile their own flesh, mm -hmm. despise godly authority, and insult angelic beings. Amen. With Michael, one of the ruling angels took issue with the adversary, which adversary stands for Satan and the devil. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he's all those names, okay, people? Yes. Arguing over the body of Moses, he did not, now listen, people, he did not dare bring against him an insulting charge, but said, May Adonai rebuke you. Yes, However, mean. these people insult anything they don't understand, and what they do understand naturally, without thinking like animals, mm -hmm. by these things they are destroyed. And yes. by lack of knowledge and wisdom, my people are destroyed, the Lord God Amen. says. So what Amen. I want to say to you is, by giving testimony, okay, a couple years ago I was really sick all the time, I mean, just sick, bleeding, and then, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, it was terrible. Women cannot bleed forever. We will die. Um, um, you can you can bleed for, I think, I think it was 21 days they told me, and then you die. So, uh, we don't bleed forever. 
So I kept getting really sick, and I didn't know why, because, uh, you know, I'm a servant of God, and, and so mm -hmm. I couldn't understand it. And then the Lord revealed this to me through Barbara and his word and, and through him speaking to me. We cannot, and I really need you to hear this, people out there who are mm -hmm. listening, we cannot bind, cast, or rebuke Satan. No. You cannot. He is anointed by God. Just he is only being yes. taken out by God and Yeshua. You, you yes. have to understand this. We, yes, have, we have power mm -hmm. over the demons. We Let, do not have power over, over Satan. Satan. I mean, we can cast out demons. Yes, we can. We, we have been given the authority by Yeshua, Jesus Christ, to cast out demons and tread on serpents. Yes. But Satan, Satan is God's yes. to deal with because he's anointed cherub. Now, some people say that he's an archangel. No, it plainly no. says over in Ezekiel that he is a ch covering cherub, was a covering cherub over God, a protector over God. He kind of like covered him wherever God went, he went, you know? And <clears throat> and it's like Saul. <laughs> Might do that all the time, don't worry about it. It's okay, people. It's Come on, babies. Okay. But as I go on with you, you have to understand what she takes care of that. She, uh, you have to understand that Saul was anointed of God. And if you read back over when David was in the cave, and Saul was in the cave laying asleep, and he cut a a piece of his garment. Yeah. Yes, a piece of his garment, and he went out and stood on the hill. But God rebuked him, rebuked yes, him did. for doing that, because he touched God's anointed. Even though he had fallen, and David had already been anointed king, and he yes. was anointed one, but he could not go up against Saul because he was anointed one, and he was for God to deal with, not David yes. to deal with. And that's why when Saul was killed at the end, and this man comes running up there bragging about how he killed Saul, you know what David did to him? He killed him. Yes. Because it says, how dare you touch the anointed of God, you know? Yes, amen. It was and not he, for man to kill the, uh, Saul. It was for God to take Saul out. That's just the way it is with Satan himself. He's an anointed God. cherub. It is not our place to take uh, to take uh, Satan out. It's God's place, and he's going to do it because he's going to throw him in the lake of fire Amen. one of these days, and he's going so to take care of him. So that's the perfect example. That's also the other example that the Lord gave me to go read. He said, go read Samuel and find yeah. out. Yeah. We cannot touch God's anointed. Nope. We are His anointed also. You yes. need to remember that. And that's why sometimes when people come up against us and really hound us, uh, people out there that has really called me names and wished me dead, uh, have you been sick? Have you yeah. had illness? Um... Are you having physical problems in your body? Well, repent, yep. because that's what's happening. You touch you God's to, anointed, and I don't want you to suffer because of me. Amen, repent. because you know what? That's, that's, that's to finish my testimony. So, so the Lord gave me Samuel, and I had shared all this with Barb, too. And, and so um, here I am, and um, no insurance, no nothing. And the Lord, when I repented and asked for forgiveness for rebuking and binding and casting Satan, because you have to ask for forgiveness for doing that, coming up against his anointed. Yeah, because we have to ask God to take care of Satan. If he's bothering yeah. us a lot, Father, please rebuke Satan and get him off of me. <laughs> it's just like, you know, Michael, Michael, who, who is with God and has the wisdom of God. And a mighty warrior. over to God. Yeah. Do, do, are you reading this? He said, may Adonai rebuke you. Yes. Okay, so when I did that, 
didn't need to know. The Lord opened up and got me in and had certain my surgery was done and I was completely and totally healing healed. So you need to know that, that when we repent of things that we've done and ask for forgiveness, the mm -hmm. Lord will take care of everything. And he did. He took care of the, the, the bill at the hospital. He, he took he care did. of the surgery. I mean, and he healed me quickly. I mean, you know, you're not supposed to do anything for like six weeks. I was back on my feet in a week. Yes, she uh, was doing everything. And I'm going, girl, you need to at least slow down a little bit. I know God's healed you, but come on, <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know, I mean, I was doing laundry and, you know, doing, running the vacuum, driving the car, doing everything. Lifting heavy sick. things. You know. That you're so, not uh, supposed to do yeah, after that kind things. of surgery. <laughs> you guys were always getting on me, but, um, <laughs> you know, I'm just telling you, 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 you have to have wisdom. You, yes. you have to be studying the Word of God to understand who you are and how to stand in these last days because the days are evil now. We and are how standing. to fight the battle. Sis, this is important, how to fight the battle, yes. and who to take on, and who to relinquish to God to take Amen. on for you. Amen. Well, that's it. We have to understand our place also, who we yes. are, by, yes. by um, like Jamar just said, you know, handing it to God, or do, or do we take care of it through, through, our, through our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeah, because Christ. we have that power, too, but... but there's some things that we need to really be careful about, not be treading on dangerous ground. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. So we need, we need, wow, Lord, we need to speak these things so that you understand where we're at. Okay, so then he led me into Revelation 12, 7. Okay, so let's go to there. Next, yes. there was a battle in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But it was not strong enough to win, so there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown out, that ancient serpent, also known as the devil and Satan, the adversary, the deceiver of the whole world. He was hurled down to earth, and his angels were hurled down with, with him. him. With and I him. want you to hear what it says in Revelation 5.11. It says, Then I looked and I heard the sound of a vast number of angels, thousands and thousands, millions and millions. Yes. Ooh. I mean, people, can you even fathom how many angels there are? And do you, can you fathom how many came down, are coming down with Satan when he comes? I mean, I'm telling you. And he only took a third, sis. He only took a third. Yeah. We don't know how many of that third is because he he says thousands and thousands, thousands millions, millions, millions and millions. I mean, so the the third that he took down could be astronomical. I can't say yeah. the word Harley, but it, it's going to be great, great. The yeah. demons are going to be great, and we we the called out ones, the chosen ones, the children of God do have power over them. Yes, we mm -hmm. do. We have power They're just over the demons. lower class. They're not anointed like yep. Satan is. They, they, we, have we have power, power over the them. demons and dark angels. You yes. know, that we've, been, yes, we've been given that Lord God. Yes. Okay, so then then he had me look up Gabriel, and, and it's pronounced Gabriel in, um, in Hebrew because it's, it's the L again, which is mm -hmm. of God. And in 1403 it says, from 1397 and 410, which 410 is L, men of God, Gabriel, an archangel. So th this is actually in Hebrew, it's putting him up to be an archangel with Michael. Um, 1397, the root, the primary root uh, is Geber, which means a valiant man or warrior. Now, Gabriel is an archangel. Yep. And Michael He's is an archangel. There we go. They're warring angels. They're head of, yep. they're right. Yes. You know, they're the they have the armies, okay? Two, two, ooh, Gabriel and Michael, armies of God. Ooh. Yes, yes. Okay, so then he led me to read Daniel eight fifteen through seventeen, and it says, after I Daniel had seen the vision and was trying to understand it, suddenly there stood in front of me someone who appeared to be a man. I heard a human voice calling from between the banks of the Uli. Gabriel, make this man understand the vision. He came up to where I was standing, and his approach was so terrified that I fell on my face. But he said to the human being, understand that this vision refers to the time of the end. Yes. As he was speaking with me, I fell into a deep sleep with my face toward the ground, but he touched me and set me on my feet. 
And then he spoke to Daniel, of course. Mm -hmm. So then the Lord said, now this is for you people to go read. You know, because Barb and I, we read from the Word of God, and we tell you the things the Lord has shown us. To Every to day. Give you. Not, not just once in a while. Oh, Every no, we're in it all the day. time. Um, so here's what the people, the Lord said, tell the people to read Daniel's prayer in verses 9, 1 through 20, because this was, this was Daniel's mm -hmm. prayer for Israel. Yes. So, so you need to, to read that, and, and you need to be praying this prayer for, for America, for Israel, for the world, yes. because Daniel prayed these words to God. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and okay. we're going to have to close this video out pretty okay. soon. But when you was talking about the, uh, the angels... Yeah. The Lord led me to this one, Daniel okay. chapter 7, okay. verse 10. Seven. Okay. A fiery stream issued and came forth mm. from before him. Amen. Thousands, thousands, it says it twice, yes. ministered unto him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was judgment was set and the books were open. Okay, mine says, it says it again, um, a stream of fire flowed from his presence, thousands and thousands ministered to him, millions and millions stood before him, Then the court was convened and the books were opened. Do you, guys, do you guys ever sit and ponder how big God is? And what's going to be happening? That, how, and how big the universe is? Yes, yes, praise I mean, I do, the Lord. I sit here and I think that if God is that big, how big is that universe out there, people? Yes. I mean, I know this video is a little long, I, I but you know, it is important, and, and we're going to have a, another part of it. Yes. But people, this is important for this day and hour, this time. Israel, right now, over there in the Middle East, they're having problems again today. I mean, what's new? It, it, but it's building, it's building, it's building. These portals were opened uh, December the 12th, 2012. I mean, there's been portals open all along. But these two were especially important because they, what it means, I'm going to tell you real quick now. It means 12, 12, 12 is the ending of this part and the beginning of the next part. And you know what? I'm going to confirm that because the Lord showed me, Barb, and I called you on this. Mm -hmm. When the planets were going to line up, you told me that it was, it was, there was a hole there, and the, and the sun was going to be able to shine into the darkness. And so, how did God create create the earth? He, he, the light show, shone into the darkness, people. Yes. Yes. So what the Lord confirmed to me is when those planets lined up on twelve twenty one twelve. It was the beginning of the end. Yes. So, so he showed Barb today that twelve 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 was. It was the two portals being opened, but also that in that same time frame, it is the beginning of the end of what's coming. Yes, because, I mean, there is no months, more months after the 12th month. That's right. You automatically recycle over and begin with one. J uh, yeah. January the beginning of is the, the first month, and it is the beginning, 2013 is the beginning of great troubles. Yes. He revealed this to me. Okay, yes. let's end with prayer. Yes. Yes, Lord. Praise your holy name, Father. Yes. I come to you humbly. Yes. Lord. Asking you to pour out your Holy Spirit on each and every one of your children that you are calling out out right now today to wake up to yes. your whole body pour it out on your whole body the whole body needs it not just the ones that are being chosen and called out for this particular battle but the whole body because we are to edify the body of Christ yes, we are to edify them and strengthen them yes. that even the ones that are the weakest in our body that we will strengthen them and put our hands around them and say you can make it you are part of the body yes. you are called and you are chosen to be his body come out we will stand with you we will stand for you we will we will hover around you yes. and protect you father father 
prepare us for what is coming soon. Yes, Lord. Prepare us for this war that is about to happen here on earth over in the Middle East. Let us not be distressed in fear. Let us know and be comforted in peace in our heart that you are with us and your covering is with us and that we stand in the ark of Jesus Christ, yes, Yeshua, Lord. and he is our covering. Just as that boat was Noah's covering back in those days, you are our covering. You are our covering. So, Father, just pour your Holy Spirit out on us and let a new revival uh, energize us and come into us and bring us up into your likeness that we will have your manifested power within us to stand for you in the evil days that's coming i'm asking a true blessing upon your children in the name of yeshua hamashiach amen yes lord amen yes Go ahead. I know you got something to pray. Girl. Yes, I do. Dear Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Lord Yeshua, HaMashiach, Lord HaKadosh, Lord, I plead your blood of protection over this video and over these words that were spoken today. In the power of your most holy name, Lord Yeshua, mm -hmm. HaMashiach, Nazareth. And Lord, I pray that you will soften the hearts of the people to mm -hmm. come to know you. I pray, Lord God, that they will repent, that they will ask for forgiveness, and that they will accept you, Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, as the Son of the Most High God, before it's too late. The door is open right now, Lord. Yes. So I pray that as long as this door is open, that they are hearing and receiving the words of truth yes, yes, to come Father, to you, yes. Lord, to come to you now, to come to you now. And Lord God, I pray that you will soften the hearts of the people to hear these messages, these words. And will you, will you please bless them with wisdom to understand them, Lord God, because yes, your people are dying from lack of knowledge. Yes, they are, Father. Lord God, they, they are. We're crying out for the people who are dying for lack of knowledge, Lord yes. God. Please let them be blessed with wisdom. Rock and dash overflow them. Bless them with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to understand your words of truth. We pray this in your most holy name. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Be blessed.